Welcome to the radius, everybody. Or welcome back to the radius. Well, this is actually isn't even the radius. This is the, uh, what is it? The peripherals of the radius. Welcome back to whatever on earth this place is. Nonetheless, I finally replaced the super clunky Mosin with the fantastic shotgun. I will never not like a video game shotgun. Well, that's actually not true, but this shotgun is pretty cool. And I don't know why, but the sound effects in this version, it's just so much more satisfying. I don't know why, it just sounds so good. This is ASMR for an American. Anyways, major upgrade here. And plus this, I don't think I'll need to get a new gun for the rest of the playthrough, honestly. But you know what, we'll see. Anyways, the next mission we have is the Harvester. The helicopter black box you recovered mentions a large floating creature. We need you to get a photo to understand what it is. Take a photo of the floating creature last spotted in the indicated location. Eliminate four homunculi, homunculi? that are escorting the Harvester. What is the Harvester? I don't even know how to respond to this. Actually, I think this right here is the correct response. So most most overwhelming situations to be completely honest so we gotta eliminate four homunculi whatever on earth that is and then take a picture of the harvester one person in the comments on one of these videos did mention that you should not try to eliminate the harvester they didn't say why but not to do it so i'll take your advice and just take a picture and run away beware of gas you can find the camera in the ruined house so i've written down here this is where the harvester is supposed to be big red arrow like a youtube thumbnail i'm good at that and the camera should be here so it says beware of gas so i didn't see a gas mask in the shop but i'll look again and i'll probably find it i do want to get a monocular just because it might be some fun role play cool isn't that sick? It's upside down, because you're supposed to hold it with your right hand. That's pretty neat, I, I think. Now ordinarily the gas mask would be under survival equipment. It's not here. It's not under food. It's not under science equipment. It's not under combat equipment. I don't think there's a gas mask. Well, nothing I can do about that. Another thing I discovered recently, there's just a whole box of tea bags sitting in the desk under here, and there's also a whole bunch of sugar cubes. Uh, these aren't actual items because you click for the description and there is no description, so it's just environmental things. You can't actually do anything with them. But if you could have brewed tea in this version, I would have lost my shit in a good way. But diarrhea everywhere, that would be pretty pretty awesome honestly you know this game is already great as it is all you need is a guitar and tea brewing with humongous sugar cubes you look like you feed to horses and you know what you got yourself a good game anyways i should stop rambling on about nothing at all and we should probably go get this camera and the harvester actually let me see how expensive the camera is over here. It might be worth it to just buy one instead. I'm not ashamed to admit I've never bought a camera in this game or used a camera in it because the paparazzi missions just look like the most unfun shit ever. I'll stick that right there. Check out the motherfucking harvester. Having wiring troubles. No, whatever. I'll just have this wire hanging on the side of my face for the rest of the day, I guess. Let's see, so just walk directly forward. Now I could still check out that other camera, cause you know, I can probably sell it. Speaking of selling things, I found out, I was just kinda looking around and stuff earlier, trying to scrape through a few resources and whatnot. Man, those things are impossible to see. Anyways, yeah, the uh, the wooden crates, the, all the crates and stuff, they don't respawn like they do in the, the main version. That was very unexpected that that would happen. Yeah, so this crate here, it's still open and there's nothing inside. It doesn't reset. That hit me hard. So yeah, this game just got about 10 times harder because these crates don't reset because that's your main source of loot. I said I don't think I'm going to need a new shotgun or, or gun loadout for the rest of the game. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford a different loadout for the rest of the game. Well, anyways, no point in wallowing in misery right now. Let's keep going forward. Avoid the circle and avoid getting shot by the mimic that I hear. Not mimic. Spawn. Nope. Ha, I heard you. So there's a camera in that general vicinity. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I went that way trying to get to the construction site in episode two and I got real lost. So I'm not going to do that. What is that abandoned structure over there? Whatever it is, I can see two people with guns sitting over there. Well, uh, might as well blow their brains across the walls. This isn't a new area. I've been here before. There should be a crate right over there that's open. 
No. On the other side of this wall. Yeah, that's where it is. It looks like I left stuff here, though. That doesn't seem like something I'd do. Is it not gonna let me eat it? It's not gonna let me eat it. This detector is going absolutely crazy. Just bonkers. All right, so I gotta climb up this. Oh. <laughs> Nothing personal, kid. I wonder, do these guys drop cores? Because I haven't gotten a core from one of these things yet. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like they- Jesus Christ, dude. That is highly disturbing, the way it's contorting. Oh, there's just random ammunition sitting here I didn't notice. I can't use either of it, though. Oh, what is this? Mimic core. Oh, that's exactly what I was wondering if you had. Wait, what? It's like midnight right now. I'm not really thinking much. Well, that was a neat little detour, I guess. At least I didn't get shot. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Beef. He want beef, but he a chicken. Void the white square. Holy. Where, where did you go? Oh my gosh. Went to the stratosphere. Uh, I heard you. I heard you. Hold on a second. Never stand between a man and his Siggy. The web, the webs. I was very close to those. Those things are like insta-death if you touch them. Well, not insta-death, very slow and painful death actually. But they, they do kill you. You wanna know what would be cool? So it's already got the smoking particle effects. So when you exhale your cigarette smoke, what if it had like a muted version of that that would like simulate it being cold out so you can like see your breath. It would be like less visible, but it would be the same sort of thing. I think that would be pretty cool. There's a really big thing moving over there. It looks like a dinosaur. It looks like a creature from Horizon Zero Dawn from the way I'm looking at it. Now seems like a really good time to save the game. Okay, can I take this picture of this thing from really far away? I'm getting shot at by something. Oh, I'm almost dead actually. Where are those bullets coming from? Now, ordinarily, I would just not heal myself, but the heart beating sound effect is really annoying. No, actually, I'll just deal with that. It's not that bad. Where's these homunculi, homunculi lie? Holy shit. You all just saw that, right? That was like seven bullets to kill that fragment. What the fuck? Unless these are the homunculi. Yeah, something tells me those are the homunculi because seven shots from the M9 should definitely kill a fragment. Let's see, is this gonna give me a fragment core? Yeah, so it might have just been a fragment. Okay, now where's this homunculus? The harvester, the harvester, that's what I'm looking for, not the homunculi. But I will get a thousand dollars if I kill him, if I kill the homunculi. So I'll probably try to do that, because you know, I, I like money. Money is fun. You can buy things with it to fill the void. Actually, this would be a perfect time to use the monocular that I bought. The only problem is that there's a million trees in the way, so I can't see anything. But if this was an open field, then I'd be well prepared. Now, it looks like the, the harvester has just straight up disappeared. I don't see it anywhere. And I, I feel like I can't, you can't really miss something that big. Oh, no, it's still there. I was just looking in the wrong spot, I guess. Heart beating sound effect has stopped, thankfully, so I can still keep running, running around with zero health. What is that building over there? But there's nothing on the map that says what it is. Kolhoz? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, it's not listed. There's a big black square that shows that there's a building, but there's no name next to it. Oh, I'm getting shot at again. I really wish I had the Mosin right now. This thing, as you might imagine, a shotgun doesn't fare too well at a distance. I might be able to take him down with this. Yeah, I can see the uh, homunculi or whatever they are. They look like the normal, the uh, the mimics in the normal version from here. Black silhouette creatures with guns. Look at the lighting effects. That's seizure inducing. And this is death inducing. I should write a movie. I don't think it'd be a very good movie though. Maybe I shouldn't do that actually. All right, mate said this monocular. I'm hearing some funky sounds. Let's see, there it is. Now how far away can I be for this? Nice view, nothing more. I think it has to say nice shot in order for it to work. Ah oh, yeah, I see a being of some sort there. That's oh, just a fragment though. Ah, there, there you are, lad. It's impossible to see the camera. Oh, I'm taking a picture of the things that are trying to shoot me and they're gone now. What? That's some actual horror movie type shit. No, there was like, there was two guys walking towards me. They were right there. And then I, I walked to the other side of this so I can get in a better position to shoot them and they both disappeared. That might just be a bad game engine or the greatest game design I've ever seen. Getting closer to this, whatever it is. Harvester, what is it harvest? All right, now that was a perfect shot. Yeah, that's a nice shot. There we go. Now where's these things I'm supposed to eliminate? They seem to be, I've killed one of them. 
Now I know that's not something I want to get up close to. I was told specifically not to get up close to it. However, I have the power of the fact that this is a video game on my side. I can just save the game and now I can run around and do whatever I want. Let's get a nice look at this thing. Oh, I recognize that sound effect. Okay, do I shoot that? Yeah, that sound effect. I recognize that sound effect. That's the sound that the riffs make in the uh, 2.0 version. All right, that was fun. So it looks like it doesn't actually like engage with you unless you attack it. So can I just like, can I just like fondle its nuts and it just won't do anything as long as I don't hurt it? Oh, I'm taking damage when I touch it. It looked like it actually just didn't see me. That's why it wasn't attacking me because it did turn around. I still don't see the freaking homunculi anywhere. There's supposed to be three of them. <laughs> don't eat the yellow snow. There we go again. That's my favorite loading screen tip. That one didn't make it into the 2.0 version. Either that or I've been really unlucky. Let's see, what time is it? It's way later than it should be. Okay, well let's let's try to avoid that thing. It looks extremely dangerous. Thankfully, so am I. So I still gotta find these these fellas over here. I still got a contract to fulfill. Bullets firing. From where? Right there? Maybe. It'd be pretty neat if I could fuck around and find out. I think it's just a fragment. Okay. Let's kill it anyway, because killing things is fun. Oh wait, no, don't get close to them in this version. See, usually I finish them off with the knife, but in this version, if you get close to them, they they just, uh, um, they, they, uh, they kill you. And there, there's the harvester trying to kill me, just like they said. Always listen to the comment section. They usually know what they're talking about more than me. I'm having fun right now. I think. This is the first time I've had fun without gambling in years. Is it shooting through the wall? Why, it keeps making dying sounds over there. Are they killing each other? No, I've only killed two of them. So why does it keep making death sounds? Is it just to scare me? They are scary death sounds, I'll give them that. This is just a hotbed over here. This is just an unfortunate position to be in in general. Can I convince it to go like a different way? Can I convince it to walk somewhere else? I don't think there's those kinds of mechanics in this game. Shit. Oh, there it is. <laughs> He's got a PM. Damn, that is terrifying. So I think what's happened is they're stuck in the environment. That's why I can't find them. That one seems to have managed to wiggle its way out somehow. I don't know how. But what I thought is that this was a bunker and that they were tr they were inside of it. Because, you know, there's bullets coming out of it, clipping through the environment. And there's there's shooting sound effects coming from it. So it seems obvious that they are, they are trapped in this area somehow. But there's no way to get in there. There's no way to get on top of this hill. Maybe unless I used Unstuck or something? Would that work? Ah, yeah, yeah. I used unstuck to look into the environment. Oh, there we go. Well, I managed to figure out a different way to look into the environment. So it just died. I watched it die. There's st it still didn't count as it dying, though. Maybe it's just respawning. That's probably what it is. Yep, yep. Oh, there you are. Poop. Okay, so there's more than four of them. I just have to kill four of them. And it looks like they just infinitely spawn. It looks like they infinitely spawn. I just had an epiphany. They spawn in when you attack the homunculus, I think. All right, I'm gonna solve this puzzle eventually. All right, where? What? The harvester is gone. What the hell? The harvester is gone. Oh, there it is. It really does blend in when everything is the same color. Okay, so here's the plan. I am going to shoot at it and we'll see if that spawns in some, some baddies. Yep, yep, it looks like it does actually. Now I just gotta survive. Yep, mission failed. Oh my god, it sounds like they're walking around in a field of grapes. It just makes these squishing sounds every time they take a step forward. So, we did not survive that encounter, but we are indeed making progress. Okay, let's get into a better position this time. I need to go that direct direction to get back home. Maybe I should shoot it, shoot it from the other side and then just run away really quickly? Nah. Alright, now let... Let the lesbians consume me. All right, is that? I was about to check to see if I had gotten two of them. I think I did. I got shot while I was looking. Now, I'm pretty sure the uh, the map can be used as body armor. Maybe I can hold that with one hand and then the pistol with the other. Use it as like a uh, riot shield. This is like that one scene from Doctor Strange. We just gotta keep going back to the same point in time. Harvester, I have a deal to make. That was just embarrassing. Don't think we're even making progress anymore. I don't think I can even say that. I'm actually just straight up sucking so hard the skin is falling off now run run away and maybe they'll follow me into a secluded area where i can not say things that would be extremely insensitive oh well i didn't spawn in that time it seems there's one <laughs> i shot him right in the balls or her maybe i shot her in the uh lady place now i think yeah 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 i think i thought i had a thought holy shit okay now before i die again 
save the game. So that's four homunculi killed. Yeah, there's four. Four dead, and I got the picture. Now it's time to escape this reality and take off my headset. It looks like there's a factory over there. Yeah, Zarya factory. I'm not gonna go there. That seems like a place where you, you die if you go there. Is that a fire? What? Always remember, stay strapped. There's a fire right there. Is this like a little hideout? Survive, survivor hideout? This looks like a place where I can sleep. Oh, this is so cute. What a knife. Thank you. Is there anything in here? Bullets and cigarettes. What else do you need? Am I right? Ooh, and these are the bullets that I'm actually using too. That, ma that makes this hundred times better. Random bullet. I'll hold on to that and sell it. Just like in real life. Bullets are very expensive, but only when you buy them, not when you sell them. Hell yeah, another cigarette. This day just keeps getting better. Now what's in here? Yes, there's an actual bed to sleep on here. It's not just a random coiled up mat on the ground. Oh, we're really making it out of the trenches. <laughs> we're making it out of Vano with this one. Here's a question. Can I light a cigarette on this? What are these sound effects? It, it made the same sound effect that the, the sliders make in the normal version. Yeah, there it goes again. And again? Are there sliders in this version? I actually don't know. I don't see any of them. They would have killed me by now. I'll just ignore that, I guess. Um, it does not seem like you can light your cigarettes on this. Unfortunate. This is what VR is all about right here. Okay, well now, it keeps making the slider sound effects. It keeps jumping me over and over the same exact way and I keep falling for it. I'm gonna start running back now. Yeah, there it is. There's the slider. Oh, this is this. I'm gonna enjoy this. It's gone. Whatever. This is very spooky. Oh man, it's making, it's making some bad sounds. Oh no. Okay, what am I getting myself into? It's making whispering sounds over here. I don't know if you can hear it in the recording, but it's a... Uh, I think it might be Estonian? CM Games is based in Estonia, I believe. So maybe they're just speaking that. And that might just be why it sounds like it's all gibberish. Yeah, I don't know how well it's gonna translate, but this is legitimately like the most scared I've gotten in a video game before. This is how you make a spooky video game. You don't do jump scares, you just have fantastic ambience and whispering sound effects and put it in VR. Those are the three ingredients to make the- I don't- I don't know what it makes. A, a scared commander cream is what it makes. Damn it. You see in this version when they smack you, they launch themselves like 800 feet in the air. Give me that young man or young woman. I don't know. I don't really see any parts on these things so I can't really tell. Oh, maybe the mimic identifies as something else. Oh, I'm going in the complete opposite direction. That's gonna, that's gonna scare me, isn't it? Is this another white circle? Let me save the game before I answer that question. And, yep, it slows down your movement when you enter these things. So like, it traps you. Ooh, there's another shack here. Hell yeah. Look, like I'm going around raiding other people's homes. This is, must be what it's like to live in like, New Orleans. Estonian scientists in Vano. You mean the game developers. This is all useless information. Ah, crate. You got anything good for me? No, not really. PPSH though. These things sell for a few smackers. And then, dirty PM. Hell yeah. Hmm. Should I sleep? No, I should keep playing this game. But should I sleep in the game? No. I'm gonna live on the edge. That's, that's a big thing right now, edging. I think I actually just lost brain cells by saying that. Crap. Or you're gonna regret that, kid. Yo, I hit it. I'm actually impressed with myself. Cause I wasn't even aiming that. Well, now don't tell me that wasn't impressive. Is this a whole suppressor? Well, I'd tell you, but it's stuck to my face. This is a whole pistol suppressor. That's crazy. It was just laying there. Everyone's trying to interrupt my smoking. It's like the game's trying to tell me something. Cause every time I'm lighting a cigarette, it spawns in another enemy. I think today's haul is gonna be pretty good. Another dirty PM. If I had a dirty PM for every time I found a dirty PM in this game, I'd mention it because it would be significant. Yeah, I can just run away from that. Always remember kids, running away from a problem is usually easier than solving it. Stop. Lethal force authorized, mandatory inspection. All right, I'll wait.
Yep, it does not seem like that is uh, gonna happen. Ugh, I wasted so much time on this gag. Okay, now, is this a perfect condition suppressor? It's not gonna tell me. The description is, stopped being broken. Oh, well, it's almost perfect condition, but there's a whole pistol suppressor. That's so, it's so awesome. It's such an awesome find. And let me clean up these guns real quick. And you really have to saturate it in this version with the oil. See, the problem is that this thing is so well textured that I can't actually tell if it's getting any cleaner. Jesus Christ, how much do I have to scrub this thing? Will the scrubbing ever end? Man, they really, they really make you work for a clean weapon in this game. This version. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be worth it to try to clean the PMs. And plus, I don't want to. And the shotgun has way less rela reliability in this version. So is the Beretta. This game overall is so much harder in this version. Anyways, let's deliver photograph trap. There we go, $4,000. Yay, let's sell all this garbage. See if it was even minutely worth it. $1,000. Yeah, that really wasn't worth it. Yeah, and half of that is the PPSH. I need to find a different game to play. <laughs> now, how much is it gonna cost for me to repair all, all my stuff? Quite a lot. I won't do that. I'll just put a little bit more work into it. Well, that, that's the excitement over. That's the harvester. Pretty funky creature. I wonder if it's gonna show up again or if it was just that one-time mission sort of thing. Like, now that I've done the mission, it's never gonna show up again. If not, I'm gonna circle the general vicinity it was. And I, actually, I'm just gonna write a big H. There, so now we know to not go in that area. Unless there's nothing there, then, then we can go in that area. Do I have anything to talk about? Anything left to talk about? No, I don't think so. See ya.